Hello everybody! Welcome on into well, the weekend stream. How's everyone doing today? Canbytes707, thank you so much for that follow during the opening. I really do appreciate that. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for that follow. It really means a lot to me. Welcome on in everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Currently Saturday night for me. Kind of forgot you can see my hand when I try and scratch the tippy top of my head. <laughs> but yeah, currently Saturday night for me. I know it's morning for some of you, so I hope you have some of um, that. I hope you have an amazing day today if it is morning. If it is the evening or the afternoon, I hope you had a great day. Now I was planning on trying to find a new game to play for tonight. I cannot find anything that really interests me. A little bit of this is because I know that Final Fantasy VII comes out in like a week. And while it's going to be an off-stream game, I'm just looking forward to it too much. And it's that excitement for it that's making me go, oh, I don't want to play anything else. I just want to play what I find fun. But I was meant to do a bonus stream last night. Just because I missed it on Wednesday night. And unfortunately, because well, I wasn't feeling the greatest, had to miss out on last night. So I thought, well, let's continue Tartarus tonight. Yeah, at least get to the next barrier floor. We've got a little ways to go. I don't know how far it is, but you know, might as well try and push for it. You know. I got my drinks ready. My energy drink, my water that's well, frozen water, and it's kind of overflowing already. It's already spilled all over me. Just means that yeah, it's gonna be a good night. <laughs> At least that's how I interpret it. But yeah, not a lot has actually happened over the last couple of nights. I did end up playing a bit of Final Fantasy XIV last night off stream. I really want to go back and play it. I stopped playing it on the Australian servers just because I found it too difficult to do the story. Not because the story is boring, but because there was no one to do the dungeons with. But I think I might try to play catch up on my main on stream. Because uh, I'm up to... Sorry. Sound like my eye there. Uh, I, last I played, I was up to 6.3. So I've got a couple patches to do to fully catch up. So I might play that on stream. I might even do that as bonus streams. Uh, the summer only has about a week left. And as long as the weather around where I live keeps up with what it usually likes to do, essentially the final day of summer, it's like as soon as it hits March 1st, Everything cools down. When it hits... You know, in the first day of summer, so December 1st, we usually have a heat wave. So I'm kind of counting on that to happen. Where it's like it's going to cool down. Let's jump into the game. The water is overflowing. I'm kind of... Not mining it overflowing. I had a kebab for dinner and I got a little bit of sauce on a mouse pad mat thing. So I need to get that little bit of sauce stain out. So last time I played this, we were around the halfway point in the game story wise. Out. Oh. Obviously two days until the next full moon. After which I think we get the dog on the team. That water just makes me so nervous in overflow. So we're up to floor 77. Hey, we're hey, beaten. Looks like you're the only guy on the team tonight. I see. So this is what you would call a harem, correct? 
According to my data, every single man in the world fantasizes of having one. Wait, <laughs> is that what you're angling for? Well, ulterior motives aside, I've no problems. After all, this team is strategically sound. I mean, that actually wasn't my plan. <laughs> now that I see it, it's like, huh. I might have to change up my team. <laughs> Let's continue okay, the bosses there gave me some trouble last time. And that's why I brought her along with me now. I forget her name. Uh, Mitsuru. Because the boss was... Well, yeah, mini boss was weak to ice. Now that those giant faces on the walls are gone, it's not as scary, is it? Y yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> Hey, there's a treasure chest. We're gonna kill this enemy first. We've caught them by surprise. I'm still setting up. It'll I... take a little more time. I know last one was weak to wind, I believe. Thankfully, the distress makes them easily critical. Everything's weak to critical hits, I guess. Uh, I'll get the Mega Doe. So I have not touched this since last stream. I know normally I would uh, do a little bit of off stream grinding, but I thought, you know what? Let's just do some grinding on stream. Thankfully, it's getting a little bit easier to grind as time goes on. This is our opportunity. They resist that. I... Was kind of hoping that meant they were weak to it, not that that was a critical. I really got to be careful of that, though. I don't want her to overexert herself and get killed easily. Stairs located. Oh, good! It's a floor with a person. Hear the reading of a person. Please go secure them right away. Um, we gotta keep moving. There's a powerful enemy. Well, I'm pretty sure that's them right ahead. Before engaging. Huh? We caught them by the the enemy looks tough. What to do? I've already scanned this one. Alright, he uses ice. I kind of worried if it was going to use wind. But, like, depending on how this goes, I wouldn't mind continuing the story. It all depends on how quick. Yeah, you know, this section goes. Shall I move to strike? There we go. Zap him again. Increased all that attack, more money. You know what? Increase all that attack. We can only get one more major Arcana card. 
And I'm just... just I'm not really for strategizing for a certain set. Shall we commence rescue? We'll rescue them in a second. Must be one of the people who went missing. We need to provide treatment immediately. Please return to the entrance as soon as you can. Looks like you're able to rescue a missing person. Good now, where's the next one? I can send. A three to eighty nine. Very well. Then. I wonder if that means 82 is going to be like a boss floor. I wish I knew what that was weak to. Well, I guess we can just spam everything we can. Never mind. Take the money. More personas would actually probably be smart and just get some more fusions done, but perfect. Just what we hoped for. There's a lot going on, even in my personal life. But right now, exploring the tower is my top priority. Hmm? It's a treasure. Alright, we have the advantage. I'll go with you. Never mind. You know what? Jack Brothers. Oh, Ow, that was strong enough to just straight up kill. There. I'll get the high pixie this time. All right, let's be on our way. Golden chest. Stairs located. Updating data records. I really wish you could sell those gemstones. Um, what is this? Stern from there any response I've gotten to it now. It's shrouded. Um, it doesn't seem like a shadow. It's larger and seems almost like a wall. Let's take a closer precisely. look. If it's dangerous, it's possible that it could be in fact be riskier to simply ignore it. Okay, by going by the signal I'm getting, it shouldn't be far from you. Really, gem. Alright, pass it on over, and we can just shoot the other one. Like, a lot of combat in this game does get quite easy. I know I commented on Persona 4 having easy combat. But like, in Persona 4, once you got Naoto, uh, Naoto had the insta-kill light and dark skills. And it just made combat so much easier when almost everything was weak to either light or dark. So every combat was just auto kill, auto kill, auto kill. There it is. This is. Is this a door? Could you please get a little closer? Uh huh. Mysterious readings seem to come from this door. 
Will this be the door Elizabeth was talking about? I sense shadows beyond the door as well. If you plan on entering, please proceed with caution. I really thought the clock was the thing that Elizabeth talked about. Um. This place is... It feels different in here compared to the outside. The atmosphere is unstable and the walls look like they're rippling. Powers aren't working very well. I can at least tell you it's not a very large area, but please be careful. <laughs> De I detect a shadow up ahead. It's very powerful. It's like we have no choice but to fight if we want to keep going. Let's do this. That is annoying. Very annoying. Did not make contact and hit. Yukari chan's been poisoned. Do you have an antidote? At auto scan, weak to fire. The only one with fire, and it's my weakest one. Right, I can't use an all-out attack because we're all poisoned. Alright, try lowering his defenses. Kill everyone. Thank you for your support. Yukari has been poisoned. It's time. Do you have an antidote? Adjusting aim. I'm hit. I guess it's poisoned. He's losing health. That's it. Enemy down. What to do? Flex darkness. All right. You've been poisoned. You're losing health. If it uses a dark skill, it should hopefully. Never mind. Better. I hope it'll reflect the darkness skill back at it. Thank you much obliged. They don't have any fire. Something else. <laughs> there goes my healer. Alright, thank goodness. That was... <laughs> Not good. Throws two. We can start cloning that. It's 50% ex experience to... Yeah, personas that aren't in battle. Something brought up within me even more than usual during battle. Okay. I don't sense any more enemies around. 
those treasure chests further ahead. One of that shadow was guarding this. I don't think we've run into one like this before. Please inspect it. Okay, well first... Fully heal everyone. Three amethyst and a near heal ore. It's like, it looks like what the chairman gave you before, doesn't it? It's apparently very rare. Surprised to see in a place like this. Maybe the owner of the antique shop could craft into a piece of equipment. Alright, so whenever we find one of these doors, it means that we can get rare equipment made. If we can survive, that is. What? What was that? It's still the engine of the door search through the entire floor. Oh, it's the floor layer. That makes it easier for me to guide you now. Sometimes a monad door will appear in Tartarus. Defeating the special enemy inside will trigger a special shuffle time, where major arcana cards appear more frequently. Defeating the special enemy will also reveal the layout of the current floor and the floor directly above it, once it exits through the door. The monad door is an unstable contraption. When one appears on a floor, the door will lose power and become inaccessible if you move to another floor, even if you return using a teleporter on the same day. Can you please return here? I'd like to go through what we know about that door. Luckily, there seems to be a teleporter nearby. Yes, there is a teleporter. Is that treasure? Let the battle begin. They're weak, but don't be careless. I don't have anyone with the light skills anymore. Never mind. Something else. Shall I move to strike? Grab a boo boo. Ben and pass. Freeze them again. I was kind of hoping that additional freeze, but would actually properly freeze them. Hello, Leo Lion. Happy Saturday to you too. I hope your day has been going well. It's treasure chest over here. That chest. Huh? But it's good to see you. How you doing? Spend all day at work, it sucked. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. How was my day? My day wasn't too bad. Uh, I didn't really do a lot, but I bought myself Hell Divers 2 yesterday, and I kind of spent a lot of today just playing it with fellow streamer Dead Sun Prime. It was quite fun. I might actually end up playing that game on stream. Um. 
Like I'm only level five, I think, in the game. But really bad at it, but it is fun. If you ever want to play it together sometime, I'm more than happy to play it with you. I'm not really the best at it, but I don't think I'm the worst at it. Booker and the others are talking about the door from earlier. If I may say so. Yeah, borrow a moment of your time. <laughs> it appear you face a threat beyond that door. A door connecting to the tunnel which was created within Tartarus. Perhaps an appropriate name for it would be the Monad Door. The shadows that congregate past such doors will prove to be a valuable means of accelerating your growth. I must know how you fared. Did your enemies provide you with a challenge? It was a tough fight, it actually was. Marvelous. Excellent, pleased to hear that. I believe challenging more daunting foes will act as a sort of shortcut in your development. On another note, detected some sort of structure on the 91st floor. It emanates an energy not dissimilar to the door you entered. The dimensions of this structure resemble a tunnel. One might call it a monad passage. Entering this passage may provide you with another opportunity to test your metal. For the time being, I will log that investigation as a personal request. Very well then. We'll send you Steam name later. Always up the game time free. Uh so I've got the game on PlayStation, but I can give you my friend code on the PlayStation. Like the in the game it gives you a friend code. Although it seems that it's a little bit bugged, where if I'm online through the PlayStation, it won't tell you that I'm online, but I can see that you're online. It's so weird. Mm. And that door appears to lead, or it appears to lead to a side of Tartarus. And in short, if you head to the top, taking that path will be considered a detour of sorts. However, it seems you'll be able to obtain something down that path that should prove helpful. It's done, we'll have to check it out. Like, it's odd, I feel like it's just a small bug in their server they're gonna have to fix. Like, it shouldn't be too big of a issue. Like, it just means that if we go to play together, I go, Hey, you're online, I'm gonna join your ship, rather than you join mine. Or, I invite you, rather than you invite me, like, it's odd. There's a shadow. We have the advantage. Shall I move to strike? Yeah. How about this? Have enough? I wonder if I can just get a critical on all of them. One of my game PS5 at some point this year. I mean, they're quite a good console. So when uh, PS5 was first announced, or like the pre-orders were first opened up, I remember so many posts online at the time. Because like at the time I still used Facebook. And there were all these posts saying, oh, when they announced it, don't you, whatever you do, don't pre-order. Pre-order will make Sony lazy. Oh my goodness, guys, never pre-order. And like, that's all I saw online. It got announced, was like, oh, look, pre-order's gonna go up later. I'm like, all right, it's gonna be like 9 a.m. for us. Pre-order's gonna open up. Hit 9 a.m. and I just sent a message to my brother, like, I put an all-nighter, I can't stay awake. Uh, if I wake up and the sales, like, if it's available, I'll get it. Lay down, I immediately get a phone call from saying, pre-orders are up. I'm like, all right, computer, pre-order, done. I'm like, I'm going to bed, so I lay down. As soon as I lay down, my head hit the pillow, I get a phone call from him saying, did you pre-order it? I'm like, yeah, why? He's like, they're sold out. It's just, can't pre-order it. And for the longest time, as mean as this is, I, I kind of laughed because I had so many people who had told me I was an idiot for pre-ordering it. Wait a year and it goes on sale. Like, it's going to be like half price or something. I'm suddenly going, <laughs> it's still not on any sale. It's not cheaper. Hmm. 
shoots himself in the head? What is this game? Uh, Perfect. it... Just the way they for. use the personas in this is so weird. Work at EB Games during the PS5 Xbox pre-order times were insane. I can absolutely imagine it would have been. I remember hearing all the complaints from people about it all. I just went, well... It... You, I don't know. Can't blame the employees, for starters. They're not the ones who decide this sort of thing. Oh, there's a treasure chest. So each Persona game seems to have a different method for summoning the Personas. Five was like you had to rip Don't off the mask on your face, we which need to take a breather sometimes too. The mask was actually attached to their skin. They actually like. Not sure if you have actually played Five, but if you look at their faces when they took off the mask and some of the personas, they actually had a big black mark over their face, and that was to say like, the skin had been ripped off with it. <laughs> kind of horrifying. Four was at least, you know, friendly. Huh? It's just oh, you summon it, and that's it. What will you do? But this one, you go to summon a persona and you have an evoker. It's not a real gun, but it uses spirit energy to create your personas. All right, I'm going to assume wind. I have to do this. But that character that is who's wearing the red is more timid. And even her opening scene has a holding out evoker you know, between the eyes and like I want just do it. Just pull the trigger. I'm like, this is going to be. I guess a little bit messed up. <laughs> I just saw this one with the cups. First magic attack you do in your next battle will do more than double damage. Okay. They're all mostly wearing Persona 5 outfits as well, because I just like Persona 5. That chest doesn't look like the others. I want to avoid enemies. Mm -hmm. It's a treasure chest. Because they said there was something about a gatekeeper coming up. That teleporter can take us to the end. So if I can do double magic damage, best to use it against the harder boss. Powerful enemy spotted! Please be careful! Alright, one of them's weak to fire ice, the other one's weak to ice or wind lightning. And no clue what the eyeballs are weak to. Do you suppose the terrorists have some reason to keep stop trying to stop us? This reading, 10 floors up from here, there's a border floor. That's coming up sooner than, well, much sooner than it seems. This is a sensor on a higher floor. All right, quickly drop a save. Resume. The enemy is strong. All right. Oh, it's a bunch of eyeballs. All right. I don't like the way it looks at me. Oh, sorry. I don't have it in me to scan right now. All right, Jack Brothers. I 
I doubt that counts as a magic attack. Where did the creepy guy come from? Is he what was holding up the eyes? The acquisition of the vibrant feather, you can now fuse Mothman, the winged monstrosity of myth. Just a random item drop. This I can fight even better. Wind break, negate wind resistance. Now, don't worry about that. Arizona has a new power. I have learned a new skill. Sorry, one AFK. That's all good. Have you ever wondered how those scale-shaped shadows stand upright? Are uh, the balance types? I imagine they struggle with standing upright and moving around. You suppose there's a reason they look the way they do? Moreover, I'm actually quite tempted to tip them over. Apologies, I digress. Let's move along. All right, quickly heal up. I should really... I guess I don't really need to swap anyone yet. So these characters wear masks in battle or is their mask the Persona? So these characters don't wear masks. Uh, it was the Persona 5 ones that wear a mask. Uh, so each one of these games in the series have a different method of summoning. So if I quickly go back into here and just go... Cease uniform for everyone. So this is just how they're meant to look normally. Where they get a special armband. As well as a modified school uniform. So in this one they get the evoker gun. Which hits you with the special spiritual energy and that allows your uh, your persona to take form. Choose over the head is definitely persona. It's just like me. That chest. Whereas like five was about like having a mask. Because it was all about hiding who you really are and how everyone in society hides behind a false mask in a sense. Wrong one. Yep. Popped up the. Oh! Only Junpei can wear this one. Any Japanese game that, that's pretty accurate, honestly. And, like, it's. It's quite good, in my opinion, on how they've done it all. I'm hoping they remake all in this sort of style, but at the same time, I can understand why they wouldn't. All right, golden hand. These things are a pain to kill. Right, where's my strong one? And then use her the OG. But there's a lot of theories of what Persona 6 is going to be about. Like, they're apparently working on it. But they haven't announced anything, so it's just... You know, everyone's just kind of guessing what they could be doing with it.
right then, moving on. But I keep looking up. Uh, I've been in good form at archery practice. Videos lately. online, which are about like the cutting room floor for the Persona games, and it's just interesting to see what they do get rid of. It's your call. Like one of the things from Persona 4, there was one of the main characters that you're friends with, uh, Yosuke, I believe was his name. I find it difficult because it, there's Yosuke in 4 and Yusuke in 5, and apparently in 4 they were going to have it or they planned that you could actually date Yosuke, and it was going to be the first you know, male to male relationship in the game or in the franchise. And then for some reason they didn't include it. And then apparently it was planned that Yusuke in 5 was going to get that role. And then they got rid of it. So now people are going, all right, Persona 6, gonna do it. Gonna let us have a fantasy. <laughs> Hula. I know it's going to be weak to darkness. It's going to be using insta-kill skills? That is so mean! Weak is probably still dangerous territory depending on the company. It is in darkness. I chose the wrong skill. Still can't use Fallen now. Oh, she doesn't have enough SP. I can't even target her, so I can't actually get the scan in whatsoever. Like, I understand it's more taboo in Japan. Uh, I just basically attacked her. Oh no, it's going to attack everyone. Oh, thank goodness. Main character resists light skills. So it didn't affect him. Grab the Koga spell. But like, Hello. I understand why it's iffy for different companies and whatnot, but I'm still under the... Oh, one thing for me. If a company or... If someone wants to make a game and it's going to feature a topic... Let it be, I guess? I know, I'm just more of the mind of let people create what they want to create. Shareholders sometimes have a lot of power to come to decisions, that is true. But still, it sucks that it happens. Is that Ah, oh, another lost person. Do you ever wonder, I mean, given how heavy this place must be, whether or not it'll topple over? 
And again, it does seem different from your typical building. Probably not use wiring. I'm ready to move out at any time. Awaiting orders. Down by Japan is a lot more open these days. Hopefully it continues to improve. Fingers barrels. crossed. For example, I can destroy my target with a single finger. Bang. I can only imagine how intricate your design must be. I wish I could take I went straight past the spot where the person was. But it's kind of odd when you hear how it's like... Nintendo is... less strict with censorship these days compared to PlayStation. Whereas if you were to, you know... Look at this, even 10 years ago, people would laugh at you for saying that. <sighs> Try another search, I'm still not picking up anyone else's presence. Seems we rescued everybody. Well, I'm still going to continue my way up. Um... We're doing well. Let's keep Remember up old Japanese games having green blood? Careful, the enemy like is nearby. In... I left you in charge of our supplies, and you've done a fine job. Thanks for I'm trying to remember one of the censorship you things. I can do to help. Just let me know. But my mind's just drawing a blank. What's the plan here? But it's like I watch uh, censored gaming on YouTube. Like, for a channel about censorship in video games, they get to the point so quick. Like, so many different YouTubers like, oh, let's talk about censorship in, let's say, Tomb Raider. And they go through every little detail about why something gets censored and whatnot. You watch censored gaming and they go, here's a two-minute video. It's like, oh, the brand new... Uh, a Tomb Raider HD collection just came out on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and PC, where it has one, two, and three. Because in the original one, there was this character who on he had a leather jacket on and had a very pixely picture of a girl. But if you look really closely at the texture, the girl is a though pixely is actually naked. But there's no way you would know back then. Because in the a later version of the games, or later times when the guy appears, and instead has an eagle on his back of his jacket instead. Because for the sense, like for the new re-releases, they have a girl in a bikini instead. And that's it. That's the full two-minute video. He just the guy goes into it, my hand's breaking. And the guy goes establishes the topic and goes, Hey, this is what it is, this is what it's been censored to. What are your thoughts? The end. I'm like, thank you! You don't, you're not being good, baby. What's going to do a big catch? It hasn't run away yet, and that didn't say that it left. Pokemon Community Game, why you do this to me? Japan is wild. Oh, it really is. And like... I'm totally disgusting prone, but sensitive in stupid ways in other media. That's it as well, it's like... What they do and don't allow. It is so weird. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack this. They're sort of like their rules are... Well, you can't even say, if you know what you're getting into, you know what, then who cares about what it is, because... No, even with games, again, you can't have 
certain things shine. Now then, like as a topic from Sense of Gaming that I actually did uh, hear about recently, a lot of Japan's new censorship in video games is because it's never been allowed for characters to be well topless. We're doing well. Let's keep up. And it's kind of interesting to see how close Japan skirts along that rule, where it's like, hey, they're technically wearing something. So, you know, my earlier thought of, well, if you know what you're getting into, then it, I guess it's on you. That doesn't really matter because... You know, they're still censoring stuff. Brains dictate what can and can't be shown. 100%. Like, it's kind of like over here with Australia, uh, our ratings board. Uh, the game We Happy Few was actually banned for a while. Hey. And the reason why it was getting banned is because in the game they had the drug called happiness. And you're meant to take this so that you'd be happy and see the world as like a real cheerful place. But if you don't take it, you see the world for how bad it really is. Can take us to the end. And the game Try to remember where encourages you to take the pill at different times to get through the level. So it's like you need to take it if you want to continue. And the ratings board said no. Incentivizing taking drugs is bad. How dare you? So the game was banned, but then We Happy Fuse lawyers turned around and they uh, they compared it to. George Orwell's, I think, what was it, like, 1982, I think the book was called. And it's, like, about how this is an art form, and it's, like, how the world can actually go in the future. And they pleaded that good of a case that, you know, the Censorship Bureau went, you know what, maybe we should stop being so harsh on these things. We need to change. 1984. I knew the 2 wasn't right, but I knew like the 1980-something. Lord Escape 3 was censored in Japan automatically. And that it was big news. Like, it's really interesting just to see what can and can't be allowed. Uh, and the recent news uh, for censored games and whatnot. Uh, let me just quickly open up Steam. I don't know the actual name of the game. I know, like, the first two words. So if I just write... Uh, the... Kind of iffy game, depending on who you are. The Coffin of Andy and Lele. Uh, where apparently there's, like, a, a brother and sister who were locked into a building... I was like, something, I don't really know the story, but apparently they're cannibals, and uh, people find it iffy because of one scene that's heavily implied incest or something. I don't know, I've never played the game. I've been actually told by people, don't you ever dare play that game. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but that was actually banned in Australia for a little bit. And it wasn't because of the themes within the game, it was because the creators filled a survey of what is in the game. And the rating board said this game was basically rated a PG rating. For some reason, like, they don't know if the person accidentally misclicked one thing or not. Like, when submitting it or what happened. But it just had to be resubmitted for a brand new rating. But I just kind of look at that and go, well... Australia didn't want to censor that. It was just, hey, get the right rating, and that's it. Hello, Snooky. Lurking to not get spoiled, but I'm here. Oh, I appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day today. I'm currently just going up Tartarus Tower. I'm nearly at the next barrier, and it's like, do I continue the story? Because this went by quicker than I thought it would. 
Guess if it's implied, the rain's applied differently. Like, you don't... I think there's two scenes. One of them is the sister dreams of getting married. And it happens to be to the brother. So this is and what the were. I was told that the other thing where it's the heavily implied has it where something happens. I don't know what, but the brother and sister just look at each other afterwards. And they just go, no, nah, I'm not going to do that to you. And that's it. But there's a shadow. It's like nothing does happen. It's just yeah, implied what if or something like that. I don't really know. I mean, like, I haven't played the game, so I don't really know what happens in it. And I don't really want to spend $15 on a game that I may not, you know, overly enjoy or something. Okay, time to finally see what her theology is. Scary. Weak to wind. No clue what that's going to be weak to. You played Fear and Hunger? I haven't. Uh, what is Fear and Hunger? Next physical, or first physical attack in the next battle will do double damage. Ah. Okay. Definitely gonna need a heal. Like, I've got way too many games on Steam. I should probably uh, say this once the ad break's done, actually. Only 24 more seconds. Golden Finger Boy. Great. What is everyone's nighttime routine after we return from exploring Tartarus? I usually take a shower and head straight to bed. Staying up late is bad for your skin, you know. There's a shadow. I don't want to battle that shadow. Stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. I want to fight the Goldie boy. There we go. But yeah, I've got a lot of games on Steam. I just really need to finally play something. Or play through them, I guess. That was my first physical attack, and it didn't do much. Oh, 
I mean, after this battle, I went straight past the I use. After this battle, I'll see if I actually own it on Steam. What? Switch strike. Just one target remaining. You're doing great, I guess. I only have to give the fever. Jack Brothers. Ba da ba 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 da ba ba. Money, ice boot. I'm gonna get the money. That was. All right. So you said the game was called Fear and Hunger. Let me just check my Steam. Do I own it? Fear. No, I don't. It's actually on Steam. Fear and Hunger. Oh, I think I saw, I possibly saw Mailman playing this. I think it was him. I'm going to add to my wish list because this does look interesting. I've got way too many games on Steam. Like, if I go to my profile, I should have one of my achievements on Showcase. One. Uh, I have 1,536 games on Steam. And it's just always going to slowly grow. Found the stairs. Oh, another one of these doors. First, all right, he is the one I have on. Need to heal. Like I've said in the past, uh, one of the goals I had for streaming was I have a lot of games on Steam. And I want to go through them all. Yet, I never seem to go through my Steam library. And I was going through it early today. I'm like, yeah, a lot of these games just <laughs> they don't seem to interest me. All right. No matter what shows up, we'll do this. Follow my lead. The analysis. I'll hit them where it hurts. This should be a good test of your strength. Don't get careless. This will do the trick. The fact that I had red in its name made me just assume ice. This is our I did a lot of damage. Everyone's enraged. And that means that they deal double damage, but they also take double damage. Oh, now the main character is raging as well. All I can do is just sit back at this point. Like, go on. Do the thing. <laughs> Shuffle time! My half? Well, I just got the money. Oh, hello. Hi. Alright, black quartz and Nihil Ore.
These doors are a lot less dangerous than I thought they would be. So we run around here, we can pick up this chest. That chest doesn't look like the magic mirror. I believe that reflects one magic attack. Hey. Nihil cloth. Last one. As As and now just blow them all away. It didn't work. Anti-Ice Master. What is that skill? Resist ice for three turns. Oh, okay. I was kind of expecting it to be something a bit better. any enemies here. That's a relief. I have an uneasy feeling about what's ahead. How about turning back for now? Oh my! What are we here? You're here to possess a great number of personas. Quite impressive, I must say. However, perhaps in your current state, you are able to utilize even more powerful personas? Should you feel so inclined, please make your way to the Velvet Room. Interesting. Yeah. Sorry, I just had a message and I was looking going, what is that? Don't look at this butt. <laughs> there isn't any teleport here, so we'll have to fight our way through. Yeah, I'm sure we'll survive. Um. Enemy is strong. Please make sure you're ready. No clue what they're going to be weak to. Alright, if I go down here... It can reflect... A physical attack for one person. I'm going to give it to the main character. 
After all, he dies, it's game over. One's weak to fire, and the other weak to nothing. This will do the trick. So it's just going to keep debuffing us. That thing is just going to buff itself. Trying to get four hits in on each. It just missed. I guess your attack power is declined. Come. Rebellion critical rate up. Its power is fully charged. It has as much increased attack as possible. This is going to be a really dumb idea. Let's give everyone, including the enemy, more critical. I know this is such a waste. All right, then go back down. It's just going to keep buffing itself. What to do? Go for this. If it attacks, I'm going to just, you know, reflect that physical attack back on him. We got our own critical in. We actually killed it. I'm a little surprised. I was expecting to just reflect it back at him. Greetings. Enemy shadow annihilated. You possess superlative decision-making skills. You did great, I guess. Thank you very much. Thank you. That battle was easy peasy lemon squeezy, as they say. Now let us resume our exploration. It's a good robot. Oop. Is that treasure? Farm of life. That is not worth all the items I lost. Powerful enemy spotted. 
Oh. It's... The next floor is a border floor. We need to get through this no matter what. It's the run of... Uh, strong fights one after another. Actually, we'll need 10 more SP healed to her. There's 35 for the skill. Actually, skill. Use the aura. Just that way we have the increased defense and speed at the start. <laughs> Not gonna move, then we'll make you. I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. Controlling partner. And dependent partner. Shall I move to strike? I'll show you. What next? I'll try and knock him off their feet. I'm going to assume I'm still up. this one can only be hurt by physical, and this one's going to be only hurt by magic. Or not. In any case, Jack Brothers! Who needs proper strategizing when you can just hee ho your way through it all? Only weak to shots. And this one's weak to. well, nothing real. But it heals. Uh, Oracle. We need your help. More damage when they're down. A cruel attack as well. Let it reflect. Hano is grieving. I'll go with. Have someone else who has. All right, try error ring. Not about 
does it. No shadows detected. All right. That went extremely well. So I can't learn any more skills. Ah, uh, no fear. Yeah, we'll actually get rid of resist fear. We'll get the upgrade. My persona has a new power. I uh, won't worry about ice break. I have learned a new skill. <sighs> nice work. This gatekeeper guys are super tough, huh? Might be time to call it a day. What do you think? I'm just getting head. Well, just getting started. Oh, well, someone's motivated. Okay, let's see how far we can get them. I mean, not too much further. The next floor is the barrier floor. Oh. oh. It's one of those doors, but this one isn't shining like the others. It feels different, too. And this... Or is this the structure Elizabeth referred to as not dissimilar to the other door? check it out before we do treasure 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 Ooh, maybe there's something nice. bead chain use three twilight fragments and we get da -da 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 -da. fists of fury okay I'm kind of I'm glad fist of fury is worse than Jack's gloves because Having those gloves are very much more adorable. Battle. Uh, hmm. Hmm. The morbid curiosity in me in what this is, and then I'll immediately never use it again. Dangerously revealing armor, it might fit Yukari. Is she the only one who has... Yeah, she's the only one. Yukari, I am sorry. <laughs> Why? It is not actually what I expected, but it's somehow worse than <laughs> what I thought. And she's checking it out. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to your C's uniform. <laughs> oh, let's see what this doorway is. Seems it won't open. Do you see anything that I'm missing? A major arcana card I have on me is reacting. Wait, the door's glowing. Why all of a sudden? To do something. It's the major arcana card. The very card you have is reacting to the door? Maybe the card acts like a key for this door. Interesting. This door certainly works differently from the other ones we've seen. The Monad Passage is a type of Monad door leading to the depths of Tartarus. There is only one Monad Passage per block, and each opens in response to a major arcana card. Our formidable shadow resides in the innermost area, and beyond it lies a treasure chest holding a valuable item. Entrance of the Manor Passage will remain permanently on the same floor in the same location, even after the turn of a new day. If you're outmatched, consider revisit revisiting on another time, another day. <sighs> Don't sense any danger in your immediate vicinity. However, there might be strong enemy furthers in, just like with the other doors. It's a long flight of stairs down. It leads deeper into the depths of Tartarus compared to the other doors. It's almost like it's luring us to go all the way in. A little disturbing. I mean, I should probably heal. I just can be our heal for now because she doesn't have any other SP using skills. Thank you. 
another door, even inside the first door, it feels like a very long pathway. Layout I've never seen before. Oh, that's so bright. We're in a deeper part of the passage now. Passage is separated by doors and goes even deeper. And there's the powerful shadow. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look very strong. It seems rather weak for a shadow inside one of these doors. I have a bad feeling about this. Please be fully prepared if you plan to battle it. Alright. Use the aura. Yes. Powerful enemies. Leader. The enemy is within range. Commencing battle. Let the battle begin. Oh, it's a lot I'm bigger. It'll take a little more time. It's focusing, so it's gonna use or just more damage. Got a critical in though. What's her theology? I'm using physical skills. All right. I was hoping that would be enough. Could I stand on this enemy? Hmm. Okay. Weak to down. nothing. What to do? This one, I'll go with. Go for this. Did I get another critical? I got a critical! Sally becomes a lot less dangerous. You know what? We'll take the money. 4,000 yen. Oh, hello. Shadow eliminated. Good work. Was I the only one who thought this would be easy? It definitely wasn't. That kind of caught me off guard. It didn't even attack us, Yukari. Yes, I know better than judge a book by its cover now. Next time, be more careful. Looks like there's more up ahead. Um. Might be a treasure chest up ahead, but I sense an enemy presence there too. You want everyone battling, don't push yourself too hard. It said there was an enemy, but I don't see one. I saber. Nicely done. Thank you. Memoir two. Even shadows have unique traits. The more hostile ones display great strength, but can't be controlled in our current facility. We developed the Cathedral of Time to avoid disposal of such unique specimens. A Gekkon jersey. Oh, and it's his track team outfit. Next enemy. Powerful enemy. All right. Okay, I wasn't expecting a group. I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. I'll hit them where it hurts. 
I'm a boo-boo. Setting up reflections. Oh, so I'm guessing that's weak to physical then. In this situation. Um, do the thing that I hope you're gonna do. There we go. Heavy pierce to all foes. It didn't do as much as I thought it would. Alright, well, I want to kill this one. It resisted! I should have used ice again. I was hoping that was actually going to be weak to that. I mean, this thing is just setting up reflections. Alright, heal everyone up. That should help her get her Theoji up. know about this. I don't really want to scan it. You know what, might as well. Lizard Edge. And it at least gets rid of it. And then Cyclone Arrow. the anti-electric master. Oh, hello. Shadow eliminated. Good work. The team we fought just now is comprised of shadows, each one with an ability they excelled at. For instance, I excelled at eliminating enemies by firearms, though you may already be aware of that. At any rate, let us continue onward. It looks like... No, it looks like you defeat all the shadows in this area. All we have to do now is open the treasure chest. Treasure, 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 treasure! Wait, it would suck if I didn't have the Twilight Fragments. It was quite the trip, but we found a familiar sight before the imposing enemy. It seems rather secure. Can you open it? Treasure chest isn't locked. You can open it as it is? Saves us some trouble. We are in a rather irregular area. I wonder if that's a special feature of the place. Not detecting any danger, so please check what's inside. Temperance Tarot and a Book of Samet. It seems that Temperance Major Arcana card can now appear during shuffle time. So that's one we don't need to beat then. The next time you do a daily activity, your academics, courage, and charm will increase more than usual for that day. Interesting. By acquiring the Book of Samek, the number of major arcana cards attainable in a day increased by one. A tarot card, similar to the ones you already have, Leader.
I just got a cheer when I like, just said unlock access to the remaining major arcana. I'm like, is that it? It was also reacted to the entrance, so there might be some connection there. It's possible that other doors elsewhere would react to that card as well. I wonder if that floor, or that door, is now on earlier floors, because we got memoir number two. But we haven't found memoir number one. This is... Dead end. Looks like we can't progress any further now. On the other hand, we made good headway. Nicely done. Come back whenever you're ready. It's your call to make leader. Old document number four. The head researcher came to try and convince me. I was surprised. He was my old mentor. Whenever I remember his timid smile, my resolve wavers. Good day. That requests. My requests. Have a mock man with a skill Agalea in your possession. Alright, here's Let's the fourth the old result. document. I got 40,000 yen. And I traversed the Manad Passage. Wonderful. Well done for filling my request. The Manad Passage you explored seems to be slightly different from the usual doors you've encountered. While they may both house strong shadows, the passage seems to lead deeper into the depths, thus harboring even more powerful shadows. But the rewards you reap are far greater. By defeating all the shadows within the passage, you will gain a new major arcana, which in turn will aid your growth. I won't force you to undertake this task, I do hope you continue to challenge these passages whenever you can. Those of us who reside in the Velvet Room are always pleased to bear witness to your growth. That will also bring me one step closer to fulfilling my true desire. My apologies. I didn't intend to take up so much of your time babbling. Please take this as your reward. Black Sword. Very well then. Good day. Do you mind escorting me yet again? This time, I would like to go to a location known as Naganaki Shrine. Waiting, if you have time, then please come fetch me, so long as the sun is out. Very well, then. Quickly save. Like, not even two hours into the stream, we've actually done what I was hoping to do. I thought it would take longer. I've been waiting for you. I have something important to tell you today. The number of personas rested in the compendium has increased significantly. Marvelous. This is proof of all the hard work you've been putting in every day. It is truly wonderful news. So in turn, I would like to offer you more of my help. I shall reduce the cost of summoning persona from the compendium. Consider it a little gift from me. Hope you make good How use of it. You? Registering personas? Will you register it to the competitor? Where's the these? Valkyrie. Oh, because I picked up that major arcana where it increased stats by two. I didn't realize that was a permanent upgrade. So Valkyrie, Lilum, and McCoy. Will you register it to the compendium? Will you register it to the all registered? Are you in search of? It is a special persona you desire, is it not? I forgot I could get Arsen. Oh, if I get King Frost, I can then make uh, Black Frost. Well then, shall we take a look? There's a lot here that I can get, but none of them are King Frost. This would Ooh, be yeah. a wise choice. Huh.
Oh, that would actually be so overpowered. Level 34. I'm already level 10 with the Moon Arcana. Gotta make Mothman that has the Aguileo spell. Neither of these learn fire. This persona, yes. I'm just trying to think what would be used to get. Yeah, King Frost. This persona is powerful. I'm also curious, what game is Kaguya from? I always assumed it would have been from Persona 3. Yeah, I'm just gonna go over to Google. Persona Kaguya. Appearances. Okay, so it's a Persona 4 Golden one. It's what you can fuse after maxing out uh, Marie. Interesting. What do you wish to inherit? All right. Auto, auto, auto. It appears it will receive an immense amount of power. All right, time to get overpowered. Well then, shall we begin? Multi-target boost, high counter. So 20% chance on reflecting. We did have counter before, which I think was only 15% chance, but it doesn't stack. Increased power of attacks that target all foes by 15%, so Shining Arrows is even more powerful. Back on to trying to figure out what we need for King Frost. So if we're going to summon, I believe King Frost would be a magician. So level 29. Ah, what kind of persona do you desire? Are you satisfied with this? Please choose what skills to inherit. Single target, auto, growth, will attack. It seems you have been blessed. It's finally time. I mean, if we can use this to get Mothman, 
that's another plus because this does have Agaleo. Doesn't matter if it's beneath me, I need it. Regenerate. Abufu Mazio. Seems you have been blessed with some <laughs> Why this is exciting, isn't it? I mean we're also just filling up the compendium. Why not? We need it to be done. Why is the heart there inside of it? This persona, yes. Is this acceptable? This persona, yes. That's interesting that gave this thing flames around it. It's never had that before. At least, not any of the ones that I've played. Please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will receive an immense amount of power. It appears it will receive an immense amount uh, of power. Ah, Megara. It will receive. It's finally time. There we go. We have Sati as well now. Level ten magician. And we also got the Soul Seed Dribbler. This persona is powerful. This one is somewhat beneath you. This persona, yes? Alright. Please choose. Let's get Johanna. Agaleo. Give it an auto. I guess single target, and I guess just growth. No new power. So it begins. We'll get the vehicle. Mostly just to you know fill out the compendium. Bit. Still no. I kind of just want to Google how to get King Frost. Seeing what personas come to be is a great joy of mine. This one is somewhat beneath you. What do you wish to inherit? What do you wish to inherit? Alright, Herculean Strike, Auto Suhukaja. Right. Appears it will receive a. <laughs> Why, this is exciting, isn't it? So shift boost, attack up by 10% until end of turn uh, when on the receiving end of a shift. Oh, when you shift to them, you gain 10% attack. This would be a wise choice.
Now, I'm just going to Google. How do you get King Frost? I'm... If my thingy wants to actually work. Persona 3 Reload King Frost Fusion. I'm very curious. Slowly loading. Alright, they say Lancid and Power. Do I still have no, power? Please take a look. Uh, registered only. Please, is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. Now to the L's. So you'll be summoning this one? May it be your inner strength. Are you finished? Are you in What kind of persona do you dis- You can't control this one yet. They lied to me! Can get Doc soon. Which they said power. This one is I'm guessing it's becoming Goemon because. All right, so now it says Narcissus is one. Please take a look. So you'll be summoning this one. May it be your inner strength. Well then, shall we take a look? Ah, uh, the... Which will you choose? It's just becoming Goemon instead. Why? <laughs> Why must this happen? <laughs> Alright, well... I should have gone to this website instead. Someone has a GitHub page where it's the Fusion Calculator. They've somehow figured out all of this already. That said, they still say, hey, Narcissus plus power creates it. And it doesn't. Do I still have Saki? Maybe if I move this to... I do have Sati. So they're saying I need the Matador. Please take a look. So you'll be summoning this may it be your inner strength. I'm spending so much money just to get this. Will you choose? Again, it's Goemon. I don't want Goemon. Are you satisfied with this? No, I want I want King Frost. Like this is just uh Take all the time you need to consider. Well then, shall we take a look? Is this acceptable? What do you wish to inherit? Peculiar Strike, Blade of Fury, Auto Sukakaja, Right. It appears it will receive. It's finally time. This one I'm just using because, like, you know what? Let's just use some. Like, I saw it in the past, and that's what's bugging me a little bit. It's like, we've seen it, and I cannot seem to remember what it is. Okay, Oni. 39 strength. Very powerful. This would 
be a wise choice. Incubus, something that I really dislike. This persona, yes? I can just get rid of it to create Genbu. Are you satisfied with this? Apparently Lamy is one of the ones that could work, so Charm Boost. It appears it will receive an well then. Shall we begin? We'll get another soul seed dribblet from it. Stay and increase chance to inflict elements to all combatants. No, thank you. Soul seed dribblet. It wants to change torrent shot. I should have said yes. Still nothing. This persona is powerful. This persona, yes. What do you wish to inherit? Your weak pierce to more. It seems no new. So it begins. Just getting extra elements in there. Don't need her. Uh, yeah, don't need Hermit anymore. Please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will receive a good amount of. It appears it will receive a well then. Shall we begin? There we go. Get this one. Legion can be useful. It's odd that it gets sexy dance. King Frost, there it is, only plus Legion. Persona is powerful. We lose out on Oni, who is quite strong. Please choose what skills to inherit. Herculean Strike. Auto Auto. Counter Strike. It will receive a good so it oh, and it's an Emperor Arcana. I mean, of course it is. It's a king. Oh, that was an ordeal to get him. I don't care about Ice Break. Increase party's defense for three turns. Special Fusion. Here we go. After all of this, just to get to this one. Choose what skills to inherit. Alright, so we've got quite a few skills to go through. Definitely more on the magic side, so Herculean Strength definitely not worth it. A boop of love. Um, 
I guess just freeze boost. It appears it will receive a good amount of X. <laughs> a new power emerges. All right, here we go. For some reason I was worried that I was going to fail. Hey, ho, I'm the old mighty Black Frost. Teach you he how to walk and talk like a badass. Ho. Automatically strengthen dark skills by 25%. I guess I can get rid of Bethula. Oh, that's heavy ice. Now I'll keep the uh, attack everyone with ice. I got a black frost dart. I was not aware he would have his own one. Persona, do you desire? Very well. How splendid. Oh, you appear to be harboring your potential. As soon as you acquire a resonating with one another, elevating you to greater heights. Ooh, because I got King Frost, King and I. Heavy ice damage to all foes, ignoring resistances. Medium chance of freeze. Is that the only one? We look I kind of hoped I was going to get more than just that. But Jack Frost is definitely... More of a mascot in this game. Nearly 30 minutes in there fusing, I'm sorry. Um. My question is, we had that doorway there. I'm curious if that door would actually appear in earlier floors. I kind of doubt it would. Like... Because it just hasn't appeared. And the fact that... Yeah, it was like a... Oh, look, there's this... I trust you're not tired. Special memoir. I feel like it might be you going backwards or something. Maybe not meant to get one. Or maybe I got one. And I just didn't notice it. This is our chance to go first. Two enemies. You can take them. Never mind. I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. Finish. I mean, we don't really have to do anything else in Tartarus, but I thought, you know what, it was meant to be the Tartarus stream. Let's do a little bit more exploring. The situation is favorable. It'll take a little more time. Come. That was pretty strong. I'll get some more money, because I did burn through quite a bit, like 40,000. Alright, dark boost. Oh, 
Hi. Right. Yep. Definitely stronger. A victory well earned. And from that, we now get to see what his next theurgy is going to be. Well, there's an item there. There is. All systems are go. All right, so we'll just keep going until we get to the next teleporter and head back. This is incredible. It's like a three-dimensional labyrinth. It's our chance to go first. Two enemies. You can take them. All right. Oh, and it does use Black Frost in it. All enemies defeated. Good work out there. I was under the impression it was just for King Frost and that was it. All right then, moving on. That raises the question, what are the other ones? And how do I unlock them? There's a shadow. I mean, it's just be feel like the companion to get them all. Alright, shining arrows. Let's see how strong this is. That's a win for the team. Good job, Very strong. I mean, I know when I played Persona 5, Kaguya was the one that kind of helped me beat the game. Or at least until I got my overpowered Rangda. Like this world has trapped us in a trompe d'oeil painting. Like it's one big illusion. Huh. Enemy spotted. Awaiting order. I'll hit them where it hurts. Alright, weak to ice. Simple enough. As simple as expected. And we made quite a bit of progress. We got our fair share of level ups. And considering level 37 now, everyone else is like level 30, 32. Like, we're only 37 because we got that plus 15% experience item on. So if we're lucky enough to find a clock in the future that will help boost their levels. Like it really does go to show how good one uh or fifty percent experience boost can go. Hello, Lemonade Cafe. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing? Here comes a penguin raid. I love that Sonic emote. Lemonade Cafe, the chill VTuber with a knack for first playthroughs, has been on an epic journey from aspiring Sujimon Master to diving to Silent Hill's foggy depths. They've battled in Tekken and splashed through Splatfest. Despite feeling under the weather and lacking a Valentine's Day or Valentine's date, Haru's streams are a blend of cozy vibes and fresh discoveries. Catch their lucky dragon finale for a dose of joy and miss misfortune. Ah, interesting. But welcome on in. How are you doing today? Ah, uh, what were you playing, if I may ask? Did not finish like a dragon infinite wealth tonight. Oh. Well, there's always next time. But I hope you enjoyed the game. I've been wanting to play that for myself, but I haven't actually played any of the Yakuza games. 
Very much gonna raid and dip, spent eight hours trying to finish, but very much push my limits for it. All good. Do take care of yourself. Enemy uh, spotted. Yeah, you know, get some food, shower, rest up, all the stuff to take care of yourself. After all, health is important. As I said, thank you so much for that raid, I really do appreciate it. Uh, at the moment in this, I'm currently just going through Tartarus. Uh, seeing what huge for what new personas I can get. I just got Black Frost, so I'm quite happy. Mainly using just Kaguya, Black Frost, and I also got to test out what Sati is like. I mainly got her because it was a plus 10 level boost, but immune to fire, weak to ice. I think Black Frost yeah, Black Frost would probably be my choice over her. Purely because... Uh, more magic damage. And we're immune to ice as well. If the enemy uses light, we swap over to Kikuya. I feel like we got a good enough strategy ready for the next full moon. Famous last words. I'm not going to do well for it, am I? Alright, ice and punches. Alright, punch him. Ah, <laughs> uh, experience up. It's. They are finished. I feel like shuffles against weaker enemies do give you a lot less cards. We're doing well. Let's keep up the pace. The enemies near oh, and the enemies are actually afraid of me now. Like they're running. I'll start preparing the analysis. There. Yeah. I'll go with you. Go, Black Frost. That's a win for the team. Right. No sound. He's just dead. A victory well earned. Have you gotten used to dorm life? Took me a while to adjust too. I think I've settled in. It's certainly more relaxing to be at the dorm than at my parents' house. Um. All right, back to the entrance. Like. Realistically, this is the first time in Tartarus since the last full moon. So, the main character has gone up 10 levels just in this one trip. Oh, Good Elizabeth day. has a request. Are you accepting a request? Conduct a total of 35% so of fusions. And she wants me to do 50. Have a persona with the skill Torrent Shot in your possession. Wonderful. Thank you for your assistance. Please take these as your reward. Attack mirrors. Right, I still need a Mothman. Very well then. Good Wait, it was Mothman with Agalea, wasn't it? Are you accepting a request? Yes. Very well then. I know it doesn't seem like I have Agaleo as a card.
But let's head on in. Have a little look see. Oh, I got a new personality. Weakness boost. Increased damage when striking a foe's weakness. The leader's characteristic. Tempora's characteristic is boosted according to the percentage of personas registered in the Persona Compendium. These special characteristics are unique abilities that automatically activate during combat. More information can be found in the status screen. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Are you in search of... Well then, shall we take a look? This All right, well, we have the thing up here, which didn't actually help. But if I change this to, from King Frost to Mothman. It could not find. Registering, I see. Will you register it to the compendium? I've completed registration. Are you finished? And uh, no, there's actually something else wanted. So, please take a look. It says Sati can combine with Shisa. This persona, yes. This persona, is this acceptable? Very well, it's yours. I, what kind of persona do you... Is this acceptable? I'm gonna be sad to see Sati go, just because it's level 35. 32 magic. Please choose what skills to enhance. We need Agaleo. Grab Miragi on. And I guess obey the ice. It appears it will receive an... Im well, well, well. I'm mean, gonna guess the 10 level boost as well, so that's that's something good. No way, no, yeah, it did. Because hermit gets mega though. Almighty damage to all foes. Ooh, get rid of stagnant air. You can't control this one yet. Are you finished? We look for Leave. Good. That request. A request. Let's hear the results. You've suddenly nurtured Mothman to the required level. That completes this request. Still, I must say, it has such a cute appearance. No wonder people often search for it. A maid outfit. In what point does you like can you What is the link here? Mothman to a maid. Very well. Who is that outfit for? Yukari. No, she still has the battle pansies. Mitsuru, she gets the maid outfit. Alright, what... What is Dark Jacket for the main character? Okay, so that's his... Casual wear for winter. Give him the Yasugami uniform. Let's check out Shujin. Uh, I think I prefer the Yasugami.
Tuxedo, tuxedo. You can give the meat outfit for now. Shujin. Sabagi. All right. No clue what to give her. It makes me laugh that it is the battle underwear, but it... It also feels just wrong putting him in that. I'll give him Shujin as well. There we go. That's the crew. Go to the stream room. It's 10.30. It isn't late. But... No, I do got to get up early in the morning. Uh, for those that don't... May or may not know, like on uh, Sundays for me, it's when I got to go to a One Piece tournament. Uh, my brother's gotten super into it, and whenever he gets into a hobby, I like to try and do my best to uh, not outdo him in it. I kind of just want to stay on his level. That way he enjoys it, and yeah, it's just a nice thing to do and hang out, you know? But yeah, we will wrap up here. Uh, like it is also quite hot. I'll just, I'll probably raid Zeke tonight. Quite a nice guy, fellow Aussie. Currently playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Yeah, I, I don't know if I will grind. Oh, my arms are broken. Okay, that fixes it. Uh, the way the hand tracking works is the webcam has to see my face and then it detects where my hands are and then tries to detect where my elbows are. But for some reason, sometimes when I stretch, it's like, no, your head is elsewhere or something. So the arms break. But yeah, do take care, everyone. I do appreciate you all coming on by. Apologies for the shorter stream. Uh, there's a chance I might stream tomorrow. Uh, Beast Life, as I call him. I've been told his name is BS Life. But I call him Beast Life because it's funnier. Uh, he wanted to get back into Warframe. I'm like, you know what? I haven't played for the longest time. So we might do some grinding on that. I don't know if we're going to actually stream it or not. But if we do, that's going to be a thing as a impromptu collab thing tomorrow night sometime. Uh, no clue if I will actually stream it or not, but if I do, then I'll see you then. If not, I'll see you on Tuesday. But do take care of yourselves, everyone. I hope you all enjoy your weekend. This is Nick, signing on out.